Hey all. Uh, I really did say that. Hey all, didn't I? Um, as some of you will know, and um, and if you don't, uh, the last carving I tried, uh, I really goofed up. I, I broke its its head off um, of the snake. Um, really, um, yeah, it. it, it upset me <laughs> but anyway I uh, it, it was pretty decent but anyway I thought seeing how I goof that up might as well make it something a little harder to do so this is Aspen dowel I got it at uh, Lowe's it's one inch diameter four foot long so what I'm doing is I am making a snake that's curling up this this is where the grip this is where the grip is going to be right here so i'm going to have it so the snake looks like it's going under the grip and then back out on this side of the grip uh, with the head so like i said i, I might as well make it a little harder so, uh, you know um it, this is just like a, an experiment because it's <laughs> uh it, it's it's different I seen one kind of like this, and I and uh, the gal. Uh, it was really fancy. It was just tremendously gorgeous. But she is such a fabulous artist. It, it's unbelievable, not only in carving, but uh, being an artist herself. I mean, um, color pencils, ink. I mean, she's just wonderful, wonderful. Uh, but anyway, I, I thought I would start out by showing everybody this and get a little closer maybe and but the, the blue I'm going to mark on each side of the the blue and this is painter's tape that one inch and I cut it in half and uh, I'm going to have the snake going under the grip and then coming out on this side of the grip and, and then there's there's the head so I hope everybody can see this I, I think I can do it. I'm going to try anyway. I'm going to really take my time on this, so it's not going to be a uh, a thing where I'm. It'll probably take me a whole week to to even get this somewhere close. But I'm going to try. So uh, get back to you in a in a while. Show you how I'm progressing. Well. Now I'm back, I'm going to show you just the, how I laid it out. Here's the head. And it's going to go underneath the grip. And come back out, curl around, and I decided to make it into a rattlesnake. Hopefully. It's got the head of a rattlesnake. It's got the Diamond head, I don't know how, how good that head's going to come out on such a small diameter, but I'm going to try it. And like I said, this is going to be the grip. So, and I tried two different things. The, uh, the heavy black, and this is pencil, and these are actually what they're called uh, King Art pens. I hope that will stay in focus. And they come in just a multitude of colors. It's got a brush on one end and a fine point on the other end. So they're they're pretty neat, pretty neat. Like I said, just a whole array of colors. But anyway, and also, I had said in my one video that I had trouble carving, you know, getting a, a big chips. So, I uh, got to walk, looking through uh, YouTube and I found several people that uh, mix water and alcohol together, rubbing alcohol, and they spray it on and uh, it softens the wood. You don't soak it, I mean, um, I'm, I'm sure you probably could on, on something like this, but anyway, uh, and it makes it carve easier. And I, I tried it on a piece of 
Uh, I said Aspen before, but it, this is Poplar. Not Aspen, this is Poplar. And I had a, a small piece, so I had tried it here and sprayed it, and it was so much easier to cut. So that's what I'm going to do, and this is the snake here, and then the other piece here. This will all be lowered in here, all the way up, so it looks like the snake is curling. I hope. I hope. Anyway, uh, I will stop this video now and, and, uh, <laughs> and see if I can do something good. So, get back to you okay. later. As we can see now that I've got it cut down on both sides of where the the snake is going to be and you see here I'm starting to cut it down even deeper and that'll be done on both sides and then the center will be taken down the same depth so it really looks like you know the body of a snake uh, I just about goofed up big time with that uh, King Art pen you hit that with water and and uh, alcohol and it just run and I should have known that I, I should have known that everything that I have done refinished uh, gun stocks uh, furniture it, it's uh, I, I, I should have known that but I, I I just didn't so and here's the the head I've got it the initial carved around it and like here's the here's the grip and the snake will be going under the grip here and coming out the grip here. Anyway, that's the, the plan. I hope you saw that. So, like I said, it, it, this has taken me <laughs> a long, long time to do this because I'm going this slow, really. Um, I'm just hoping that I will keep going with it nicely anyway um i will come back when i have a little bit more done bye i got to thinking maybe i should show you what i'm doing if i can here um or how i'm doing it one of the two But I did spray it with some water and alcohol, which makes it much, much easier to cut. Get my thing back in the holder there. And you do a lot of cleanup after you've got it down to size, the size you want, the depth. Uh, and you can go through and do a bunch of cleanup to the cuts and um, maybe even do a little sanding to help them out a little bit. One thing everybody needs to remember is boy your tools must be sharp otherwise you struggle all the way and when you're stropping these make sure you do the same amount on both sides of the blade don't uh, don't strop it five times going this way and only twice going this way and then three times going this way and four times going this way uh, make sure if you do five one side you flip it and do five the other side 
Uh, that just keeps everything nice and centered, actually. So I'm just going through now just to kind of get close to the depth that I want and then I'll clean everything up and if I want to go deeper then I'll go to the the depth that I want but uh, this is this uh carving to me is so satisfying and actually so soothing you would think it would be something that would golly you know you know I do, do that I, I might goof it up or you know oh well I figure oh well uh, I'll goof up more than one piece I'll guarantee you and in this poplar the wood is really great to carve it truly is but it's just like any other wood boy are there some hard spots and i can't tell it doesn't look like it's discolored like there's a knot in it but right here man oh man that is tough but uh Just keep marching on here. All right, well, I'll end this right now. Otherwise, I'll have days and days of, of video. So. Come back when I get a little bit farther down. Okay, what I'm starting to do right now, I've got it all taken down to about the right depth. But now what I'm doing is I'm taking down the center and kind of cleaning it up along the edges. Um, it's uh, harder than I thought. I was going to make it into a, a rattlesnake, but... I thought, no, let's let's just uh, make it as easy as we can right now. And uh, so I just made it down to a pointed tail. Um, we'll just um, pretend, I guess. But anyway, I'll, I'm going to continue um, working a little bit here while, while I'm filming. Uh, like I said... I'm just learning. I, I have no idea if I'm doing it right or not. But uh, I'm having fun doing it. And you can tell this is where it's still high. And I'm not trying to work super fast. I just uh, just want to do the best I can. Make it as, as even across between the two as I can. Maybe we'll go backwards here a little bit. As long as I can just take little bitty slivers off, I'm all right. And uh, I'm wearing a glove because I notice that I make this wet. And uh, as I go, I make the wood real dirty. So I don't want to stain the wood that much. So, I figured I'd better wear a vinyl glove here, and, or whatever they're made out of, a glove. But, um, it's This is a little bit of the tedious work, you know, just taking it down to the proper size proper depth I should say and I got quite a bit of cleaning up along the edge to do 
but uh, I think it'll clean up pretty good. I wouldn't cut towards myself at all, but I have this as a stop, so. But I try to make, take real thin pieces off going that way. And thin pieces going off this way too. It's just easier for me to, to control it, I guess, you could say. I see some of these guys And they just, just tear wood off. And I suppose after you've done it for a while, you can do that. But I sure can't right now. work I sure would hate to goof it up like I did the other snake I did uh, I think I just got carried away with that other snake tried to make it too difficult tried to make it too perfect I guess all at once um, my wife is into that second born, first born, third born, and, and what you're like. And uh, she says second borns are, and I'm a second born. Second borns are precise. Everything has to be perfect. All the little duckies in a row. Uh, can't have a mess. Um, you know, everything in the house has to be put where it's supposed to be, which, which is true. I. I hate a, a thing you have to look for and look through to find something and you know it's there it's just that it's such a mess you can't find it. it drives me crazy even though I do get into it myself so you know it's uh It's hard to keep everything perfect, I'll tell you. Well, I go so slow here, guys. I'm not going to keep this camera going while I'm doing this. Otherwise, like I said before, I'll have a, a two weeks worth of video going here. But it's going to take me a while. So... I will shut it down and continue my my work here. See how I can get it. Alrighty.